Hello YouTube, another coin ops video, this time with the arcade pack. And basically this is a standalone pack. It's right around 12 gigabytes or so. For So for those of you with not a lot of hard drive space, it's a down and dirty, easy way to play all your classic arcade games, CPS games. Um, they have a nice categories here for you in the different types of games like run and gun, beat em ups, old schools, or you can just go through the whole directory. You can skip buttons. It has really cool scan lines and bezels and different effects you can add. And uh, it's just super easy. Coin Ops is fun and simple. For about the first four minutes of the video, we'll just show the build on my hard drive and then actually go through each of the different categories on the build. I'll then share with you my final thoughts, some things you should know as far as changing the visual aids, and then also show you a bunch of gameplay. But overall, I'm really digging it. It's really down and dirty, um, easy PC emulation, and it's a really cool front end coin up. So without further ado, let's check it out. Coin Ops Next Arcade Edition. It's another standalone download. I did the Coin Ops Next build before, which um, is, a, is like a over 100 gigabytes. It gives you arcade games and consoles all the way up to Wii, PlayStation uh, 1, PSP, etc. It had, um, you know, all sorts of stuff on it. Now, this time I'm going to launch for the first time coin ops for the our next arcade edition
battle. Fight! So here you can see without the bezels and scan lines and just play it normal. So I'm going to play pretty much the same. So if you just want to play it, the normal aspect ratio, none of that scan lines or anything. But I have to say the scan lines are kind of cool, especially if you're putting this in an arcade cabinet or something like that. So let's go ahead and turn scan lines on. Glass effect. So I found my D-pad way, or my analog stick way too sensitive. That's why it's like, even just a slight thing, it just goes back to one side. I tried my D-pad. I need to mess with my sensitivity enough I, I mean I am bad at the game don't get me wrong but you know these games were meant for steering wheels so it's a little harder to get it to work uh, properly with analog sticks so keep that in mind So again, don't forget to check out the FAQ, some really good information about the, the controllers and how to mess with all the different scan lines and things. You can go over here to advanced configs. All of these are little batch files. You can just run them, double click them, and this will adjust your screen. If you're running LC, LCD, CRT, cabinet, screen with no scan lines. So you can do it within the actual, when you launch this coin ops, or in the exterior folder and then when you launch it those applies should have been launched uh, if you want to see how many games there are you just go to emulators main and uh, this is a lot of the games are in here under roms and so you can find them here so just a quick check here you have over 850 games in this build if you mess anything up remember you can always just restore defaults double click this and uh, if you mess something up with your controller, you can go ahead and restore it back to as if you were starting from scratch by clicking the restore Xbox controllers here. So in conclusion, it's a fine pack. I would probably just go and get the whole next pack, which has the majority of these arcade games and has all the same tools 
it's just a much larger download, but if you want, you know, consoles and arcade, might as well do that. But if you're looking for like a bar top or something like that, you can check this out. It's my understanding there's other builds as well that are similar to this. So there's so many options out there, but this one's fairly common and it has kind of the down and dirty basics that you'd want. So with all that said, it's a thumbs up from me and I'm looking forward to checking out more. If you'd like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.